hero or villain, Edward Snowden has blown the whistle on just how far governments will go to snoop on us. It's time for the fight back to begin. If you've followed my stuff for any length of time, you'll know that my business is helping people to take control of their financial future. But one of my passions is defending our much-threatened freedoms and exposing areas where Big Brother is out of control. I'd be the first to agree that the internet has changed pretty much everything. Much of it has been positive. Almost any business can now access a global market. Those who are so inclined can while away hours on social media platforms where the goal seems to be to convince people you've never met what, what a groovy, exciting life you're leading. But there's a sinister side to the online world. Just like mobile phones and Oyster cards, with every mouse click, you leave a fluorescent paper trail that others can follow. And the global brand names whose platforms you use and trust have clearly been complicit in providing your data to these government agencies. But it's not just the issue of private data finding its way into the hands of the state, it's the permanence of your online footprint and that of your much more tech-savvy children that should be causing way more concern than it seems to. What seems a funny prank at university might not look so good when your prospective employer searches for you online. Just because you're alone and in private when you use the internet, it's easy to think that you're secure. The great Chronicles of Narnia author C.S. Lewis once said, Imagine you're in church and your entire life is shown on the big screen for everyone to see. Every thought you ever had, every deed you ever did. His goal was to deflate the pride of holier-than-thou Christians who weren't quite on board with the message that we're all messed up, regardless of how things seem on the surface. But that's my message to you today in the context of your own internet activity. We know that the major search engines like Google and Yahoo track your every move online and leave lots of cookies on your computer. That's how they can come up with all the helpful search suggestions. Google fully understands the value of the data they've collected. Don't forget, they've also photographed the house where you live. They can pull together a profile of you that would be gold dust to a marketing manager, or the tax man, or a life insurance company, or a blackmailer. There's one search engine I've come across which stores no data about you. No cookies, no trace. It's called DuckDuckGo.com. Stupid name, yes, but then Google, Yahoo and Bing are pretty stupid too, but there's nothing stupid about protecting your privacy. So why not give it a try? When it comes to your online footprint, be careful out there. I meet so many people who are still in denial. London property is a massive bubble that's about to go pop. <laughs>